so welcome back guys so in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can import a fbx file or a fbx object into your uh, ue5 so uh, the common problem is you will lose your materials and textures while uh, uh, copy paste um, importing your fbx file so in this tutorial i am going to give you basic information about the materials how you can recreate this material again and uh, some uh, and how you can easily uh, import this so this is the model I'm going to import. If you want this model, you can go to the sketchup. I will also provide you the link. It is the free, totally free model. This uh, Porsche car model. So it is created by him. And uh, if you want to try it on this one, then you can easily download it from here. Just go, go to download and download this FBX file. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is going to this folder I have created and I'm going to import this one. So open it. So you will pop up this kind of option. So here you can uh, make sure that there is a thing like call the create a new material. So it, it should be like this. Just copy paste same setting. Now import all. So it is, it is going to take some uh, time, maybe few minutes. So as you can see here, our model is imported. Just close it. And here you can see the different different parts. And here is preparing status. There is a materials are different static meshes are different so to uh, filter it out just select the material and static mesh so it will be very very easy for you to uh, find okay so now i'm quickly going to create a new material basic uh, in this work area we are going to show you how you can do this so first go to the static mesh then uh, first of all let us press ctrl shift s to save everything so now after going selecting one static mesh uh, uh, just press shift and click the last one now what you have to do just uh, drag and drop the model okay it will drag the whole body and all uh, you wanted to paste now uh, let's just uh, start with the glass material okay Let first uh, first we are going to do is create the glass material so click this is the glass okay and here you can see that there is a glass kind of material as well so just search for it glass double click on it it will open this kind of menu and uh, glass i guess we are going to take the glass little bit of darker side okay so now first what we have, we have to do is just go to this uh, first make sure that nothing is selected and now there change the blend mode to this translu translucion and here volumetric non-directional to surface transparency volume okay so it will give you a very good uh, transparency so it will basically uh, enable this opacity and refraction model uh, refraction tab or whatever you want to say so just hold one on your keyboard and uh, do the left click to click the parameter so i am quickly going to select these three parameters so now as for the tutorial i have created this uh, image here is the world here is the we have to go metallic roughness opacity we are also going to do this uh, specular also here i have not done but I, we are going to do this then uh, we have to add a refraction there is a we have to add lerp node let's just quickly first go to the metallic specular the roughness metallic to one this one also one roughness maybe keep it zero add uh, another one which is basically going to be opacity opacity zero if you make it 0.5 you can make it whatever you want is just press l on the keyboard hold l and click a left left click on the mouse and it will give you the love node okay so now what you have to do it is look kind looking kind of pro promising roughness change it a little bit roughness so now what you have to do change is uh, add with the refraction add it to this one as i we can see in the uh, make it properly one this one it is going to be the you can say uh okay sorry so you go to this using refraction option here here you can see that there's a different different refraction for different different things so here class 1.52 so what we are going to do is setting is 1.52 and there is alpha and alpha we will adding fractional and yeah like that okay so it will give you a exactly look like a glass okay so maybe a little bit the darker more darker color so yeah it is looking pretty much great okay save this okay so after applying that now you can see that our class is perfectly working right so here is our class and it looks 
very promising and very good looking glass we have created okay and it is also actually work like a real glass you can see that yeah it is actually working like a glass and okay so now what we are going to do next going for the body car paint so let's go to the car paint and car paint as we have seen here there is a very good red color so we are going to do this or maybe we can choose a different color uh, whatever color maybe blue i guess it's going to be look good so what we're going to do just add three notes like we have done before so actually roughness make it to the 0.7 it is one and roughness maybe not much 0.1 then we are going to do is save this so we are going to apply to the car okay so now it will look a little bit promising but not that much so you can play with the car color as you, as you wish so i am really going to set up my favorite color so yeah this color i am going to go with now so yeah i it is not pretty good color but it will go fine okay so now carbon for the carbon i choose completely black and the same thing we are going to do with this so control c control v metallic spectacular roughness okay this is how you are going to have to deal with, deal with every so this is how you have to deal with every material in this okay so now what we are going to do is we have to give this a silver look so for that there is a chrome okay so now this just go to google and search for it for a x code for silver and go to this one this is a metal metal silver code and uh, just copy paste this code okay control c then go there here and paste here and click okay so it is uh, silver okay we forget to do this or what So this is how you create a silver look for the car okay let's just change the light a bit okay now go to the tires for the tires here our car paint car paint 01 which is the second paint it should be a yellow tint i don't know what color it would be yeah, this is the color i just it is it is pretty much good for this one okay yeah. and it also looks very nice on this let's just see this from around here yes it is shooting on our car okay so we have done with this as well we have created the glass we have created this and our car is almost finished now what we are going to add it is a car mirror okay so this is material and we have simply not done anything for that let's see control v metallic specular okay one one zero so we don't have to save this one okay okay and i guess it should be start yes it has start looking a little bit like a mirror okay so now what we are what we have to do to uh, maybe window uh, just simply go through this this and uh, from the visual there is a thing called planar reflection just drag drop it here okay so it is something like that so now what we have, we have to do just scale it down very small okay so just what i'm going to do is 90 degree okay and now what we have to do is just scale this its width okay so everything under this box is going to be reflective as this planar object okay so now move it around and cover our glass with this one okay maybe you can cut all this and select your select the width you want and all okay now just hold alt key and uh, duplicate this one for the another mirror as well and press the alt key and duplicate and again this one is for mirror above us this car's back mirror okay now we are pretty much done and uh, anything else left yes so for now the thing left is this one so now what we have to do is we have to emit this one okay so for that so just delete this one go here add multiply so what you have to do have hold one and click uh, add this one then code and uh, click convert to parameter so it is our created it is going to be it is going to a and this one going to be emissive color and yeah, yeah in the parameters change the default value to the high value my like 10 okay and uh, now just apply it and let's see it is it is working yes it looks looks very nice so it is kind of work like our uh, tail light now for this yellow go there do the same thing okay. just copy this one okay take it in this 
multiplying this and we send out just simply saving it so yeah here our proper tail light red and yellow so it is also affected on here here as well this is also our light and it is looking pretty much good okay so this is our car it is ready i don't think so there is anything left to do so another thing what you have to do is just first save this map so just go to their projects setting go to the render and from the render uh, scroll down and in, from in the reflections if, if you see support global clip plane or a planar reflection then check this out uh, true and so it will give you a very good reflection okay so now to give this look which i have given in the previous feed, uh, previous model so just uh, just get light it is get light change it 90 make it yeah just uh, up a little bit it is size okay so I not this one. Uh, go to this source with the land. Just, just keep it as you want. Okay. Keep it as it is, and then go to the density. I'm with the land. Okay. Now what? Another thing you have to do. Just delete this everything. Okay. Delete. So now it is. It has this crazy look. Crazy look like a. We are into some kind of showroom. So this is. So you can see that my mistake. I also created this hard disk. Ah, uh, sorry, not hard disk. This very disk. Look for this. Okay. Whatever. Carpet. See the carpet. Then. Yeah. Now, now it is something good. So it's still not uh, getting the proper view. Just add the spotlight. And a very spotlight. Okay, so now under that you can see that there is a really, really cool shiny look. Everything is also very good. So keep it a little bit far to look to get this glow. So yeah, here you can see that there is a black car. I just see the black. It is looking so much black. That is why it is kind of so we can change this as well. So now you can see that there is another color black, and it is also looking pretty much good. So here you can see that there is reflections. Reflections are also pretty much good, right? Yeah, those reflections are actually giving this car a very great look. Okay, so this is how you can add the materials and design your car. This is pretty much it from my side. See you in the next tutorial.